Russia's just wild about Yuri Gagarin, first man to conquer space. Modest, just a family man. It was no secret, either in Moscow or anywhere else, that Russia was ready to make the attempt. At 7 minutes past 7 a.m. our time, the 450-ton rocket went up. Russian diagrams to show how a previous space rocket functioned. It sheds stage one, then stage two, leaving the spaceship to go into orbit at 18,000 miles an hour. Gagarin was in radio contact with the ground. In his four and a half ton nose cone, he orbited once and was back again 108 minutes after takeoff. At Cape Canaveral, the Americans, though disappointed at not being first, are training these men to be astronauts and may still have a man on the moon before anyone else. How the intense heat on re-entering the atmosphere is withstood has been carefully studied. At 500 degrees Fahrenheit, one of the astronauts suffered no harm, though water boiled in the glass he held. Moscow prepared to give Major Gagarin a hero's welcome. Nobody talked or thought of anything else. Mr. Khrushchev interrupted his Black Sea holiday to be present. He gave Russia a toast to the man who has won immortal fame, the conqueror of space, cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin.